Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to the fifth Deadman Armageddon video. The first thing I wanted to do today is sell one of the two primordial crystals and exchange it for a sigil of titanium. We're gonna be using that all the way throughout God Wars, probably Inferno and Colosseum as well. It's just gonna be very helpful. Our alt account also fished up both Undead Trinket and Trinket of the Vengeance. And after that, we had to take on the 4 a.m. bridge, which honestly was nothing special. That being said, let's jump right into the video. Honestly, I might be the supplier for the sigil of versatility. The amount of times I've gotten this sigil, this deadman mode, it's crazy. And it's still worth nearly 2 million, so let's just take it to the bank. As you guys know, in the late night, if I'm up, I'm skilling already up to 80 fishing. Pretty chill. Bro, all this time I spent PVMing, grinding Slayer. The solution was just fishing. I just pulled the titanium. I bought it for 10 mil, but it's now going for 14 million. I fished up an elite and I fished up a medium as well, completed both of them. I'm about to go for another two to three hour nap, but I can't leave this in the bank. I have to open it. Let's start off with a medium. It is an absolute disaster. Let's continue on with an elite. Oh my God, okay. Mimic boss fight. I'm definitely doing this. Alright, so we can unlock the possibility for having a Mimic over here in Watson's house in Zia. And we just say, yes, I'd like to get Mimic challenge. Let's go ahead and open this here. Who knows, maybe we get the Mimic immediately. No, but we get some planks. This is a really bad loot. I'm starting to think the clue scrolls aren't actually boosted. I should have been sleeping, but I haven't gone to sleep yet. I sold my sigil of versatility for the next breach. I want to get a seer's ring because at the moment I'm just using ring of returning. That doesn't exactly help. All right, I'm going to buy it for this price. And now I'm actually going to sleep. Good morning. I woke up to a beautiful sight. We got a seer's ring that purchased and we also bought a lot of oak planks for very cheap. One of the goals will be 99 construction. It's one of the first 99s I always like to get on deadman mode simply because the cape is so useful basically. So I'm just slow buying oak planks at this point. But yeah, seer's ring, big upgrade from no ring. All I have to quickly do is buy a scroll of imbuing. It only costs a million points, so that's no problem whatsoever. Put it here, bada beam, bada boom. Imbued Sears Ring. So if we take a very quick look, no ring or Sears Ring. So you can see the attack bonus. Magic goes up by a decent bit, 12 I believe. A very important one, the defense bonus goes up by 12 as well. And on top of that, we also get like 0.5% magic damage. So... The ring is really good, and we will gladly use it. Uh, northwest of Alcarid Mine. Okay, that's pretty good one, actually. I didn't check the points again. I always forget. 48.3. We got an emblem. There's another emblem. I can take it. I only take emblems when I have inventory space. I think that's the best way to go about it right now. Another emblem. I cannot pick it up right now, though. But yeah, much better damage today for this breach. Okay, I'm gonna do a strategic decision here and I'm gonna bank once. I'm gonna start doing this in these breaches simply because I feel like when my restores go low, I think that's where a bank makes sense. I'm contemplating skilling pretty soon, going for max. So starting to pick up the Herbler secondaries is actually not a bad option here. Oh, someone is on me, tank on. Cannot see though. It's this guy. Okay, he won't get me here. Very beautiful escape. Uh, the breach ends in literally one minute, so this is where I'm gonna call it for today. Okay, that was much better breach related. So 50.8 thousand, and that's why we bring the rags gear. Uh, the difference between if you bring Arim, how many times you get hit, and if you bring just mystics, it is just like night and day. So I do believe we're gonna start gearing up to do a little bit more Cerberus. As you guys know, I wanna get 150 kill count, finish all the combat achievements, and then we will move on to probably other bosses. I was thinking of maybe sending some God Wars today, 
We'll see if it will be possible. I want to do Cerberus, but I don't have Scythe anymore. So because of that, I want to get a Sigil of Restoration. A simple reason for that is because I think it's going to make it a little bit more nice compared to the Feral Fighter I would otherwise take. It costs about 2.8 million right now. Let's see if we have any Sigils we could sell. I have Titanium still, but that would... Yeah, maybe I sell a Titanium and then the leftover I use for 99 construction. That could be like a good plan. There is a pretty big margin of this, but I want to kind of sell it fast and start PVMing. So let's sell it for 9.1 mil. Oh, maybe I slow sell it then. And I'm just going to do some uh, skilling while we wait for it to buy. While I'm waiting for titanium to sell and restoration to buy, I will work on my construction. Getting to 99 will be expensive. If I do it with oak planks, it's going to be around 5 mil. If I do it with mahogany planks, it's going to be about 10 mil. But the utility of the cape is super useful for me. So let's start it off by making two bedrooms so I can actually hire a servant. And the last thing we're going to build is dining room when we can actually build a mahogany tables. Would you look at that right as I was about to go hire our butler, the sigil of titanium sold. It sold quite fast actually. I know I could get more for it, but 9 million we're gonna be happy with. Now I can afford a sigil of restoration. Slow buy for 2.8, but I'm all about insta buying at the moment. There it is, 3 million spent on it. This is gonna be very helpful for Serb as well. And we definitely have enough money for 99 construction right now. So I'm gonna start slow buying planks as well. And maybe I just grind it all the way to 99 right now. Let's get it done. We are now 1450 total and 57 construction. And I think this will be maximum a couple of hour process. Here is 60 construction up to 70 construction. We're getting approximately 3.3 million XP an hour, meaning that yeah, like a three to four hour session. If I do it all in one go, we'll see. It all depends if the planks buy in time or not. Already up to 80 construction, 19 more levels to go. Okay, I'm now 83 construction and I will try to reset the timer and do some mahogany planks. It might be worth just spending extra money and just doing this. Or I'll just keep it nice and mixed. Do a little bit of one, a little bit of the other. All the way up to 90 and the planks are getting expensive. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this one off. We're still... I'd say, well, if I had enough mahogany planks, it would be like a breeze, right? I would get it done in less than an hour. The problem is mahogany planks, I pretty much bought out the entire market at this point. So uh, we're going to have to resolve to oak planks and oak planks are fairly slow. But yeah, let's see if we can finish this one off. If not, we'll just uh, leave it at 90 for a bit. But I feel like I've invested so much of the time already that I might as well try and finish this thing. Yo, shout out to my homie neighbor for trading woodcutting, I guess. Like, it is what it is. Here we go. After many hours, mahogany table is completed. 99 construction in deadman mode. And with that, we can now afford arguably the most useful skill cape. Infinite amount of teleports to the house. And if I kill it out a little bit more, we can make it, like, genuinely really useful. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a skill cape. I can do that probably in Falador already. And the best part about this is I don't need this. But what I can do is I can left click teleport to house. So each one of these tabs costs about 5k. So basically I can just teleport to house whenever I want. And on top of that, I can teleport for free to Remington, Taverly, Polnivnich, like all these places, uh, which is actually super useful. So this is going to be in my inventory all the time. 99k is perfect price for it. And now it is time to return to Cerberus and actually do some more PVMing. I think every day from now on, we're going to work on a bit of skilling and then a bit of PVMing to make sure we're slowly maxing, slowly working on points, by the way. We also got a decent amount of points from this. And then also working on the PVM goals. So that's kind of the plan. Let's get it done. If you do not want to miss future uploads, consider subscribing. I have a little bit of an intel right now. Apparently, my primordial boots, the crystal I sold yesterday, I kid you not, for 10 mil, but primordial boots sold for 25 mil. So I got a little bit scammed. But if I speak to this guy and I ask him about the combat achievements, he should give me a lamp. What I can do is I can now put this antique lamp over on the rune crafting, And I go from 44 to... To 50, but I think I need 60. Wait a second. I think I need 60 to make the boots. Basically, I'm trying to get to the point where I sell the boots and then buy a scythe to make this experience a lot better because the whip is really slow. Oh, it's so easy. 
Eternal Crystal, it's so easy, let's get out of here, boys. It is just that simple. 71 KC, third crystal, two primordials, one eternal. We are already back to printing, man. Let's go. Big, 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 big. Are we trusting Robert? Robert has been a great friend of ours for a long time. I don't think he would scam me. He didn't scam me, let's go. I appreciate it, Mr. Robert. There we go, primordial boots. We're gonna try to slow sell this for a lot of money. And uh, yeah, let's go back to Cerberus with a scythe now. Alright, so we have scythe again, meaning we can now use restoration, swashbuckler, last recall. I'm gonna be dancing between restoration and feral fighter. The thing is, I'm streaming right now, so I want all the HP I can get, so that's why I'm thinking restoration is better, even though the kills might be just a little bit slower. Ooh, Cerberus Veteran is completed, 75 KC, we're now halfway done with what we actually want to achieve, which is basically completing CAs here. So from now on, we don't get the full points anymore, uh, but we are up to 52,000, which is uh, pretty chill. Very happy with the amount of food I have when I do this. So I'm not going Feral Fighter on stream, even though it would be faster kills. This, like, I have so much food to tank with. There is level 93 attack, and not only that, we're also on 92 Slayer. If we somehow get one more level, we can then do the Smoke Devil boss next as well. Yes, we got another one. Okay, okay, I can tab out now. Okay, we're good, we're good. Another Eternal Crystal. Two Prims, two Eternals in 90 KC. We're printing. These are worth about 14 million, the full boots. And the Prims, I'm selling them for 15 right now, but they're probably also like 14 or 13 mil. So, dude, we're looking good right now, okay. KC 100, we are now two-thirds of the way done with this boss completely. Let's see if we can get another crystal in the next 50 or so. We are now 94 attack, we started Cerberus on 86. So we've gotten 8 levels already from 100 Serb kills, that just goes to show how much XP that is in total. No, we got a worst one. Smoldering stone, it's an absolute disaster. No, it's fine. It was about to happen at some point. Crystal number five, though, it's like, it's pretty lucky. But no, man, damn it. All right, we still got uh, 43. In theory, we could get, like, one more, you know? Oh, okay. I need to be smart here. Okay. Always shaky when this happens. Papa -pa -pa -pa, can't breathe. Good fight, brother man. Not good fight, brother man. <laughs> I mean, why am I nervous? Like, 25 seconds, by the way. But it's crazy how it just makes you breathe. Like, you get attacked on Deadman mode, you just start breathing, bro. Like, it's so weird. How much left? Nine seconds. We'll be okay. One more of these, one more of those. There, and now quickly through, and then through again, and we're out. Boom. And there we go. Nice tempt from Mr. Sir right there. We, listen, like, I don't know what it is about getting hit on that mode, but let me tell you, bro, I start always breathing like a fucking giraffe, man. Oh, but anyways, good fight, brother, man. Okay, so according to Twitch chat, I could have made this into a Slayer Helm like seven years ago. I don't have crafting level. Never mind, we ain't doing it. It's fine. Black mask is perfectly okay. I'm not training crafting right now. Okay. Oh. Crystal ball. Need to be very careful here. There we go. See, he gets hit by Cerberus, I can tab out. Pleasure doing business, buddy, hit me again. Very nice, very cool comment collected. Step under the dog, the dog gets angry. Dog is my best friend. We do a little bit of movement and we're safe. So that is like so much time wasted for that guy just to hit me there. That's why, start of the kill, it's very safe. End of the kill, 
is dangerous. That's why end of the kill, you will always see me running out of the boss. Start of the kill, you will see me stand under the boss. There is nothing a PKR can do. I can just stay. TP. Boom. Here, somebody can merge me. I think it's worth like 700k. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That has to be a little bit funny. We'll take it. I need blood runes. That is kind of funny. Yes, yes, boys, 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 another eternal. I was really hoping I would see another drop before 150. And there it is, the third eternal. That is so big, by the way. So just to put it in perspective, right? This, let's say, wait, let me let me just double check. I mean, eternal boots are like 13 mil, so three times 13, but you do need infinity boots. So I guess eternal crystal is like four mil, realistically. So four mil, four mil, four mil, that's 12. And then two primordials, that's 10 mil each. Basically 30 plus mil just from Cerberus. That is pretty good, man. That's pretty good. I have multiple rebuilds available right now if at any point we die. Look at it, man. It's beautiful. Oi, oi, oi. There we go. And just like that, we have fully done it. Cerberus Master and we did not die in the process. With that, we have now fully completed Kraken and we have now fully completed Cerberus. So the next milestone when it comes to Slayer bosses is going to be Smoke Devil. I will have to do like one irregular task for that first. But yeah, Smoke Devil and Hydras and then Slayer monsters are completely finished. And that's where we're gonna have to do like some other dangerous things. But very happy to have this done. But most importantly, very happy to not die in the process. And uh, we have 96 attack to show for it. I believe we started on 86 attack. Big increase in that just from bossing. We are expecting a random breach in 16 minutes. So in the meantime, we're just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of crafting training. 55 for the Slayer mask, but 99 eventually for the max cape anyways. And I'm just slow buying all the uncuts and we're just gonna slowly work on this. Ladies, gentlemen. Man, we just fished the sigil of arcade swiftness over here on the alt on 92 fishing right now That's an extra six million that I can spend regearing where I eventually die I'm not even kidding when I say this. I have two sigils of arcade swiftness over here. That's like a scythe right here 55 crafting we can now make a slayer helm perfect and there's two minutes until the potential breach It actually is happening Castle Wars South East no emblem. Okay, this guy meow for off again. That's cringe because Criara is on me, so I can't tab. This guy is targeting me all day, bro. What is this pathing even? I'll be fine, I think. There we go. Nice trick. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, yo, yo. Okay. Um, I mean, this guy's been on my ass all day. He was so close there. I'm banking a bunch of shit and uh, we are taking less items. Let's put it that way. Bro, I, I could have tabbed 17 times a stupid Kriara from Narnia kept shooting me. So I couldn't tab out, I couldn't log. Absolute disaster. Okay, we still got uh, decent time. Ah, but you're not cringe or what? Like, stop, man. Ah, oh, whatever. Yeah, these guys are just horny, honestly.
See, but this is what I mean. That's why I can't stream. Like... Like, this is what I have to deal with every time I turn the stream on, bro. Sit the fuck down, bro. Holy shit. In Mystics as well. I'm a bit annoyed though. I don't have Thrall right now, which is kind of bad. Because, like, I banked it because I was annoyed. I think I'm gonna not come out here with a, th uh, with a Thrall again. And I'll come with the thingy that heals me when I deal damage. Because I get jumped too much and that could help me survive a bit more. Breach over? Yeah, Breach is over. <laughs> Why am I not surprised, by the way? What a shocker. Okay, somehow I got out. Alright, well, what a bridge, bro. I just... Uh, it's okay. A little bit of a tilt in between there, but... Yeah, for the future breaches, I am just banking Thrall and I'm just bringing the Restoration one. I still think we got good points for a random bridge. There's another bridge happening in 45 minutes. Yeah, we end this one on 55.7. We do something for 40 minutes right now and then we go right into another bridge. And I'm gonna go even more safe. Up to 65 crafting, and we keep on going next bridge in 29 minutes. Alright, I just played the market pretty well and made a million. So I managed to snipe pretty good orders, as you can see. 100 earth orbs, 3.5k. I was buying battle staffs earlier for around 4k. Combined it, it's like 8k, and then insta selling it for like 11k. So I pretty much made a million while training my crafting almost to 70. And I still got a couple of uh, extra orbs here. So sometimes you are actually able to train skills without even like losing money, which is uh, really good. Here's level 70. Perfect way to end the crafting session and uh, breach in 10 minutes. Southern Fremenic. Uh, I could go Camelot here, I'd say. Oh, I didn't check the points. Ah, uh, my bad. 56.2 already, but again, we have already dealt damage. Uh, oh, wait, that's where it's spawning. Okay, here we go. Big damage. Tier 5, let's take this one, why not? <laughs> Look at the boys, but what the hell? Uh, let's go to Leka. Now construction cape after this performance is going through the moon, man. Look at this, infinite teleport glitch. In and out action, straight into the warp, the jelly situation. I mean, I, to be honest, I could also just not restore, and then when I'm low, I just quickly go bank. I mean, I quickly teleport home, click alter, teleport out easy like here for example right it's another wave i just do this 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 they hate this move they hate this move that was so clean no boom full prayer no problems whatsoever man yeah looks like there is nothing up here okay thank you for taxi here come to my house buddy <laughs> see ya that was fun though, I enjoyed this one, we got good loot, and the ending points are 58,256. Even though we haven't been necessarily focusing on points, if I log out and in right now, I am rank 33. Which is really good, because in the next days we're gonna be focusing on points more and more and more, basically. Thank you very much for watching the video today. If you guys enjoyed, do consider subscribing, because you can help me reach 110,000 subscribers. That would be absolutely phenomenal. I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video, and until then, have a beautiful day. Have a good one, and bye-bye.